Hello everyone, my name is Watson. In this video, we're going to talk about VLAN and how it works. VLAN stands for the Virtual Local Area Network. So LAN, LANs, is usually known as the Local Area Network. It is how we use our switches or other devices to create a local network for us to use, for us to access the internet to, with. And a virtual one is how we create a virtual network without any kind of hardware, and any kind of device to do it. In order to create a VLAN, we're going to need a managed PoE switch. And a managed PoE switch is commonly seen in small or medium-sized businesses, even large-sized businesses, when there are a lot of users connected to the internet. So when we have a lot of users to connected to the network, a managed PoE switch will help us manage our network's power output, data rate, and a lot of things. It can also help us divide the network and power the way we want. One of the many features in a managed PoE switch is VLAN. In VLAN, we can set up groups of networks the way we want, and it will help us be able to monitor the whole network very easily and very clear. Imagine we have a business, and so there's going to be a group of users which belong to the financial department, and a group of users which belong to the security department. Some belongs to the marketing department. So basically, we would usually divide it into three networks. If we use like different devices, like different unmanaged switches, we can just plug the devices to that switch. Yes, that's workable. It is called creating a local area network as well. But when we have an issue or an error in the network, maybe in the, I, the financial department there's an error, we're going to have to shut the whole network down in order to see what's going on or fix that error. And usually an IP security camera system cannot, cannot suffer from going offline for a short moment. It will be, there will be a lot of potential risks. So this, in this case, if we use a VLAN, we can manually shut down the network through the VLAN for that financial group, and then we can work on the problem. Then the other two groups will not be interfered at all, and that's the benefit of VLAN. Now let me show you guys how it works and how to set up a VLAN. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.